Hi everyone, this is Jessica Stone. Thanks so much for reading Green Appetite. I thought I would give you a little tour of my kitchen. Um, so this will be in a few parts just because I want you to really see everything, all the ins and outs of it. So we'll start with a good, um, a good overview. And as we walk in, we see, this is actually just so you know, um, in London, of course, uh, and it looks much bigger on this screen, but it's, it's a little one and I like it. But anyway, this is my refrigerator, which you'll get a peek inside of, and those are actually some, some bananas that I did in my painting class a few months ago. Um, I've had a couple of comments about that. <laughs> anyway, I just went to the farmer's market this morning, so it's really a good time to give you this tour, starting with my fruit tower here. And we have some bananas, and these are actually, these are completely unripe. We eat them way too unripe uh, most of the time, so make sure yours are really ripe because it's pretty much about to get there. Nice, soft, and creamy. We have some English apples, probably the best fruit that this country has. Um, wonderful. We have some green apple and some cox apples. Yummy. And we have some vine tomatoes down here for things like gazpacho and tomato sauce and some, some avocados, which I love. And again, this is one fruit that we tend to eat um, too unripe. Um, so make sure yours is really ripe. This is just about getting there. I might have that today for lunch, actually. Um, okay, so here next to my stove, or rather on top of my stove, we have two gorgeous pineapples that I picked up yesterday at Whole Foods. Two for three pounds, unbelievably cheap for this country. Um, that's about $4.50. And we have a steamer pot for my lightly steamed veggies. Uh, there was a recipe on recently for um, a better than stir fry, which I have quite often. A uh, tea kettle, of course, in Britain. A spiralizer, which is a wonderful way to make raw pasta out of things like courgette, aka zucchini. Um, some condiments here. Great big pepper mill, balsamic vinegar, hemp oil, sesame oil, olive oil, tamari, and some soy sauce. Um, all right, and then another fruit bowl over here, some kiwi. Um, love these fuzzy little guys. They're so tangy and smoothies. Um, a satsuma, which I believe is a mandarin or a clementine. And some great tomatoes, which I just love to snack on. Um, this is my little sprouting bag from the Sprout Man. There's this sprouting salad mix in there. Actually, I'll show you what that looks like. If you get to see. Uh, they're in there. They are alive. Wonderful. And I'll probably transfer that to the refrigerator quite soon. Uh, my Vitamix. Can't live without it. This is my buddy in the kitchen. Actually, I should show you my spread of cookbooks. All from my life of food from before. I went to a plant-based diet during plant-based diet um, while I was training as a pastry chef. You have all the classics here like Marcella Cucina, Leith, um, Julia Child, you name it. I still get inspiration from all of these things. Um, Vegan Planet, Theory and Practice of Good Cooking, Harold McGee's On Food and Cooking for all those science buffs out there. Um, some MFK fish, Fisher, which I got at Strand Bookstore in New York, which is the best bookstore in the world. Uh, the Silver Spoon, and as you can see, well, I have a green appetite. I don't necessarily have a green thumb, and this English mint here is um, just barely breathing, um, and some chives. This window I normally keep wide open, but I wanted to keep the um, ambient noise down for this video. Um, cool. So, you saw these on my blog a little while ago. These are fresh strawberries in season, which I just picked up. Gorgeous. And one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, mangoes. And these are honey mangoes from Pakistan. So, unfortunately, not local produce, but when you're in Britain and a girl's got to eat, you've got to do stuff. Okay. Oh, um, in terms of knives, a global chef, chef's knife is probably one of the best things that you can invest in. Um, I think I paid about 70 pounds for that, so probably about $120 or $100. And I use it for everything. It lasts and lasts and lasts. Um, okay, we have a toaster, which again, I barely use anymore since transitioning to a high raw diet. Um, and you will see, strangely enough, a washing machine because I live in England and that's the way it goes here. Um, so next up we will have the refrigerator. Stay tuned.